Hello and welcome to a Black explanation of the semi-centennial match. During season 22, the boss announced a semi-centennial to celebrate Blaseball's birthday, a match of 50 innings that would take place between the Rising Stars and the Vault Legends. The Rising Stars were a team made of any current Blaseball player who had been named an MVP at least once and so had an Ego Plus modification. Whilst the Vault Legends were a team made up of legendary players, of recent seasons and from history. The match was to be played in the Vault, a ballpark with modifications that sees both the pitcher and weather change every inning, and when weather changes, the new one will be selected from history. The match doesn't seem too unbalanced, as both teams are made of strong players and have lots of them. However, the legends do have two modifications. Heist expert, making them very good at using the tunnels, and forgery, meaning if a player joins the team, they will be forged into legend. The match was overseen by the league historian, who for every new weather delivered a statement about the season it was introduced in. Some seasons were seen several times. Mostly, the statements were reflective of the major events that happened in those seasons, such as the Crab's Ascension in Season 10. But as the seasons get later, the messages get more worrying. References to the investigation were made, and suggestions that secrets are being kept. And with Season 22, a chilling statement about the current state of the League. Before, in the 21st inning, the historian leaves, saying they are returning to safety, which definitely doesn't bode well for the rest of us. During the match itself, we saw the very first use of stables. As the vault legends reached 25 runs, the runs were consumed and both teams were stabled, removing instability from all players and reducing the risk of incinerations. However, it cannot be denied that no matter how thrilling it was to see old favourites play again, or to have an insight into recent baseball history, most fans' eyes were on one thing. Dunlap Figueroa, current possessor of the fifth base and newly made MVP, was playing for the Rising Stars. They were being offered up as bait to new Megan Ito of the Vault Legends, who has both the Trader and Traitor modifications, meaning they can swap items with anyone, regardless of team. However, they will only swap upward in value. Fans hoped that the legendary fifth base would be enough to tempt her, and also not have anything more valuable than it. Sure enough, in the very first inning of the game, Megan traded Dunlap the base, in exchange for absolutely nothing. All of this was done in an attempt to prevent her from trading with Parker McMillan, Firewalker and Super Roma for his force field. The force field, currently holding Parker in the vault, preventing him from moving between teams and leaving instability in his wake. But in inning 11, new Megan Ito could be kept from it no longer and traded the force field for the base, a near copy of her traitor entry in the library. This means Parker is now free to roam where he wishes. Throughout the match, the Vault Legends pulled off heists, stealing rising stars and forging them into legends. Each newly forged legend received a statement from the historian, apart from Nicholas Mora, who was stolen after the historian departed. A special mention has to be made for Rat Mason, who the legends tried to steal three times and who thrice evaded forging being described by the historian as an empty snare. But with every player forged into legend, the pressure of Sun Sun increased, reaching very dangerous levels by inning 29. Then the legend stole Nicholas Mora, and in forging them, exploded Sun Sun into a supernova. The boss appeared to assure fans that there was no need to panic, but also to cancel the semi-centennial stating it was a draw, and somewhat ominously saying that she'd see us at the election.
thank you for joining me for another Black Splanation. I'll be back with more Blaseball fun and facts soon. But until then, rejoice, play ball.